hate April Fool's Day. You probably won't be seeing this until probably near the end of April. But I hate April Fool's Day. Anyways, Titans Review Corner. And this is... Lawnmower Man. Now, I just recently rewatched this movie. I'd only seen bits and pieces. I'm pretty sure I didn't see it from beginning to end in its entirety. What were they thinking? Like, I understand, I believe it came out in 91, so it was the height of virtual reality. Yeah, virtual reality. But they put it under horror. Now, for those of you that have actually seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For everyone else, it's not horror. Not. I've watched movies that are far scarier and probably should be in horror when they're not. Sci-fi, yes. Yes, I will give you that. It's definitely out there. And let me tell you, I don't like watching Pierce Brosnan. I kind of had to suffer through that a little bit. He's not a bad actor, but he's not a good actor. At least that's how I've always seen him from, you know, apparently more than a decade of movies that he's been in. Uh, I can safely say that I have not seen one of his uh, James Bond movies. Not one. Skipped over all of those and then started with Daniel Crook. Anyways, so, Lon Mormon, this, how do I, mentally slow individual, I'm sure there are much better terms for him, but they're kind of ambiguous with that, what actually he has, so I'm just calling him slow. Uh, he cuts lawns for a living, so he ends up with the nickname Lawn Mormon. Okay. He hangs out with an eight-year-old kid because he's really got about the same mentality okay. Then Pierce, Pro uh, Pierce Brosnan gets his hands on him and decides that, hmm, he can make him smarter using computers. Really? This, and by the way, this is already like 20-30 minutes into the film. Okay. Where's the horror in this? Well, besides me having to sit down and watch Pierce Brosnan? Hmm, maybe that alone could make it a horror movie. Anyways, so he starts running him through these tests using the computer and showing him some virtual reality and then after a couple sessions of this he starts injecting him with some weird serum stuff that's supposed to help stimulate his brain or something and okay it starts working three four sessions and he actually starts acting like a normal adult human okay that seems kind of cool. How is this horror? So, then he keeps going. Alright, let's push the envelope. So he takes him to his, his lab place. And he keeps pushing him. And next thing you know, he can read minds. And he's telekinetic. And what? What movie? Y you lost me. Okay, awakening parts of the brain that have been asleep. Okay. Sure, I'll pretend to buy that for the moment. So then we actually get to the part that I think is why they labeled it a horror movie. Now this is well over an hour into it. He decides that he needs to kill people to kill bad people. So he takes out a priest that had been hurting him. He drives a guy that may be the boyfriend of a girl he started sleeping with. Yeah, I wasn't paying close enough attention to that part. He drives him crazy and then he goes to his eight-year-old friend's house and uses the lawnmower to take out his dad because he's abusive while he puts the mom and boy to sleep. Really? 
So killing people in a very sort of anticlimactic way, but killing them makes you a horror movie? Yeah, I think I missed the boat on that one. I thought horror meant scary. If anything else, it, no, it wasn't even really gory either. Oh, I, I swear there should be some sort of weird subgenre for whatever this movie needs to go into. And this movie always reminds me of another movie because of the name. Well, you know when movies come out like the same year and you get one confused with the other because they're similar but not quite? I get that movie mixed up with another one. And I swear the other movie has Matt Frewer in it. And it's also a horror movie. But that's all I can remember right now. Anyways, so that's... He, he finally gets so crazy smart that he needs to put himself into the computer and get into the virtual reality and use the ports to get into the telephones. Huh? This movie is so dated. You'll know when I'm there because all the phones will start ringing. Okay, is that supposed to be frightening? Threatening? I'm not even sure what. Uh, the, the best part is he's, they mentioned something about everyone being hooked up to virtual reality at like some point soon and so he'll be able to get into everyone's heads or something. Oh, I am so glad virtual reality failed. The only time virtual reality was ever interesting was that VR5 show. Though I don't know if I ever saw the ending of that. Anyways, so, building blows up, he actually makes it into the phone system at the very end, blah blah blah. You really don't want to watch this movie. Uh, yeah, Lawnmower Man. A C at best. C minus. Yeah, let's go with C minus. You might get a few chuckles out of it, but it's so not worth it. I feel like I lost something. Horror movies are supposed to be entertaining. At least they are for me. <sighs> okay. So that's, that's Lawnmower Man. Have a good night.